Here are a few of President Trump's most surprising achievements and accomplishments. Number 9. Time Person of the Year Wait, Person of the Year? Really? Donald Trump was named Time's 2016 Person of the Year. Yep, that's right, that definitely happened. President Trump was the 90th person of the year for Time Magazine, named for the person who had the greatest influence on the events of the year. So, which was it in 2016? Did Trump make it as an influencer for the better or the worse? Truth be told, around half the country still disagree with the other about the answer. What do you guys think? Donald Trump has defied all expectations from the very start of his presidential campaign. Very few people thought he would actually run and even less people thought that he could actually win. The media thought he wouldn't climb in the polls, and then he did. The media said he would not win any primaries, and then he did. They said he wouldn't win the Republican nomination, and then he did. Finally, they said there was no way he could win a general election. Now he's President Donald Trump. If that's not an amazing story, then we don't know what's an amazing story. Right now, we're all watching the same way of how President Trump operates, but of course, his supporters have one interpretation and his detractors have another. Number 8. Afghan Medal of Bravery Did you guys know that President Trump actually has some supporters out in the Middle East? Yeah, that's a surprise to us too. What's next? Hillary supporters out in Saudi Arabia? Okay, okay, we'll, we'll stop now. Anyways, hundreds of Afghans in the Logar province pitched in money in order to recognize President Donald Trump with a gold medal for bravery after the Trump administration suspended aid to Pakistan. Pakistan has long given terrorists safe haven, according to one tribal leader within the province. He said that they felt that their protests have fallen on deaf ears until President Trump came along. Wait, how did that happen? Well, the medal was awarded less than two weeks after Trump in his first tweet of 2018 accused Islamabad of accepting $33 billion in aid since 2002 while giving, quote, nothing but lies and deceit in return. Days later, the White House said it would hold back $2 billion in military support until Islamabad did more to fight terrorism. Community members from tribal leaders down to cobblers chipped in 45,000 Afghanis, or about 650 bucks, to pay for the handcrafted gold medallion, which was presented to the U.S. Embassy. It carries an inscription in Dari, which reads, For bravery from the Afghan people to Donald Trump, President of the United States. Number 7. None whatsoever. Did you guys know that President Trump has never had a drink? Even with all the crazy tweeting he does? Seriously, he's never had a drop of alcohol. Yep, all the crazy late night tweets are from someone that's completely sober. Trump has opened up on the reason for his teetotalism, saying that it's all because of his late older brother. Fred Trump passed away 36 years ago in 1981 at the age of just 43 after a long battle with alcoholism. And it's because of his addiction that the younger Donald has apparently never consumed alcohol to this day. It's also the reason the president has never smoked a cigarette. However, he's not going to stop anyone else from enjoying themselves. Trump owns the largest winery in Virginia. He's launched Trump Vodka, one of his failed ventures. He's not against being pictured with alcohol either, as he's been pictured holding a glass of champagne at many different events. Donald spoke openly about his teetotalism in a speech about the U.S. opioid crisis. Even he's acknowledged his irony. He's been quoted saying that he owns the largest winery on the East Coast and yet he doesn't drink. The closest he actually gets to drinking is when he's taking communion. He's happy to have a sip of grape juice. Number 6. Emmy Performance Wait, you guys don't know that Trump actually performed at the Emmys? In 2006, Donald Trump performed the theme song to the 60s TV show Green Acres with Megan Mullally at the Emmy Awards. It was part of a running gag called the Emmy Idol during that year's show, and it had Kristen Bell and William Shatner competing with Trump and Mullally for the best performance of a classic television theme. Among other things, it's one of the rare moments off of the golf course where we've been treated to seeing Trump in something other than a suit. At the end of the Green Acres clip, Trump apparently, surprisingly, throws his pitchfork stage right for no reason and takes an opportunity to plant an unexpected kiss on Mulally. Well, maybe it was because of that unexpected kiss that won them the competition. Mulally explained on The Late Show years later that Trump was so completely obsessed with winning the joke segment that he called her afterward to congratulate her. Number 5. Emmy Awards Speaking of Emmys, did you guys know that Trump has been nominated a bunch of times for an Emmy? Throughout his years of running The Apprentice, Trump actually received eight Emmy nominations. And 
zero wins. It certainly appears that Trump was bitter about not winning a single Emmy as he has had a history of bashing the award show. Overall, Trump has called the Emmys, quote, a terrible show, dishonest, a total joke, and the absolute worst, among other things. It's obvious that President Trump isn't very fond of the phrase, it's an honor just to be nominated. During one of the presidential debates, Hillary Clinton noted the number of times Trump claims something has been rigged against him. When he didn't win an Emmy for The Apprentice three years in a row, Trump started tweeting that the Emmys were rigged against him. After Trump heard Clinton say that, Trump interrupted her just to say, should have gotten it. Number four, Trump kids. If there's one thing that President Trump has done right, it has to be raising his kids. In 1990, Trump stated that statistically speaking, his children have a very bad shot at becoming successful. And he hasn't been far from the truth. The children of rich people are generally spoiled, very troubled, and not successful at all. Fast forward to 2018, and to be honest, anyone would be proud to have kids turn out like President Trump's. His three eldest kids, Donald Jr., Ivanka, and Eric, all hold executive VP positions under the empirical Trump umbrella. Tiffany is earning her law degree. Barron, his youngest son, is still very young, but he's holding down the fort with mom Melania. Donald Jr. has five kids of his own and works as executive vice president of the Trump organization handling property management. Ivanka has three children of her own and works as executive vice president of the Trump organization overseeing hotels. Eric has been happily married since 2014 and is also executive vice president of the Trump organization focusing on company assets involving golf and wine. The children of President Trump are completely normal and stay out of trouble. Completely atypical for rich kids. Number three, atypical background. Previous U.S. presidents came into the White House with an average of 13 years in public office and roughly five and a half years of military service. President Trump's tally in those areas? Zero for both areas. The White House has never had a president who has zero experience in both political and military service. Zachary Taylor, Ulysses X. Grant, and Dwight Eisenhower are the only other presidents without public office experience. However, they served a combined 100 years in various military roles before taking office. By contrast, Trump received five draft deferments, including one deferment for temporary bone spurs on his heels. Trump's lack of public service is part of the outsider appeal that very likely contributed to his success. Polls have shown that most Americans, especially Trump supporters, distrust the government and politicians. Also, when President Trump took office, it made him the oldest man in U.S. history to assume the presidency. The previous record holder, Ronald Reagan, was 69 when he took office in 1981. Perhaps in response to his age record, Trump had his doctor prepare a letter pledging that he would be, quote, the healthiest individual ever elected to the presidency. Number two, financial advisor. You guys know that President Trump and Iron Mike have gone way back, right? Way back to the point that in July 1988, Mike Tyson hired Trump as his chief strategist and financial advisor. The Iron Mike and Trump team was confirmed by the New York Times back in 1988, a time when President Trump probably didn't think of the New York Times as a, a fake news. Trump was quoted saying that Tyson had personally asked him to be his advisor and he had agreed to help with future decisions regarding Tyson's career. This partnership happened within hours of Mike Tyson knocking out then undefeated heavyweight Michael Spinks in 91 seconds. The fight took place at the Atlantic City Convention Hall, which was right next to the Trump Plaza Hotel and Casino. Trump paid a then record $11 million in order to have the fight at the convention hall. However, the Tyson-Trump partnership didn't last long. It all began to fall apart when Tyson reportedly convinced himself that his wife, Robin Givens, was sleeping with Trump. Of course, Trump strongly denied Tyson's claim, saying, quote, The thoughts never appeared in his mind. Well, at least they're all made up now because Iron Mike showed up on TV enthusiastically endorsing Trump for presidency. Number one, Ellis Island Medal of Honor. It might seem unbelievable to some that Donald Trump could have even just been considered for the Ellis Island Medal of Honor, an award in celebration of patriotism, tolerance, brotherhood, and diversity, much less actually getting one. Do we really need to mention a few of the things that some people think about President Trump? Not many know that Trump won back in 1986, along with Muhammad Ali, Rosa Parks, Joe DiMaggio, Victor Borge, and Anita Bryant. Trump was one of 80 individuals to receive the Ellis Island Medal of Honor in 1986, the first year that the award was handed out. The Ellis Island Medals of Honor is handed out by the National Ethnic Coalition of Organizations. According to them, they recognize individuals who have 
made it their mission to share with those less fortunate their wealth of knowledge, indomitable courage, boundless compassion, unique talents, and selfless generosity, all while maintaining the traditions of their ethnic heritage as they uphold the ideals and spirit of America. Guess who else won one? That's right, Hillary Clinton back in 1999. Here's what's next.